Hi there and welcome to a bit of Adobe Premiere Pro. This video is intended to give you just an introduction of how to use the basics within Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really for those people who've never used it before or haven't used it for a long time. Okay, so when you open Adobe Premiere Pro, it may look something like this or it should look something like this. What you're really looking for is this new project if you've never done one before. So we're looking to hit a button like that. And here is where you specify the name of the video. I'm just going to call mine test video for now. And then the next and most important thing is where you're going to store the video. And this is really important because you need a folder set up. I've already set one up. Um, you need a folder set up where you're going to store this video and the videos that are going to go into your final video. So the raw footage, the things you have shot. Okay, so I'm going to browse and look to uh, my desktop. That's where I saved this folder I've already set up. If you haven't set one up, you can set one up like new folder in here. So I've got one called Test Movie there. I'm going to select that folder. So that basically is the location where this is going to be stored. And every time I hit save, it's going to be stored there. But as I say, that's also the place where you want to put in all the footage that you've taken, all the shots that you've done. I'm not going to mess about with anything else. I'm going to click OK. All right, and then what's going to come up now? Um, my my may take a little bit more time than yours will on um, on a Mac because I'm just using it on my laptop, and indeed I've only got a small screen here as well. Okay, so your uh, layout may not look something like that. This is based on, uh, on what you've been doing previously or what's been happening previously in this program. So it may not look anything like that. So you may want to get your workspace arranged. So if you click learning here, um, I think that gives you a pretty decent layout. It's this bit here you want that's the most important thing to start with. So we've got to import media to start. So if we click in there, double click in there, I should say, it's going to say, well, where am I importing media from? Don't forget, I've already said that in my desktop test movie folder, I've already put two clips in there. I'm going to get them both. And click OK. You can also drag and drop from the folder straight into there. OK, so these are here. This is like all the videos. So whatever videos you've taken, I think it's best to get them all in to begin with. All right. Now, these are not on a timeline yet. So the next job is to get these on the timeline. So you can get them in and then put them in any in 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 order you want. You can also put the same video on your timeline twice. So if I want this one on first, I'm going to um, just drag it over to there like that. And straight away, it's creating a timeline for it, and it's showing me a preview of it there. Okay. And then the next one I'm going to put in is this one here, and I'm going to dump this one beside it. Okay. And notice how when it's locking straight into it, into the next clip there, which is good, which is, is a good thing to have. You can take that off, but we're not going to get into that. All right. So we've got two. Um, we've got one clip there, one clip there, one clip there. Okay, if I don't want that, I'll get rid of that one. I don't know why I have two in there. If I want to get it all and move it across, I can do it like this. And what it's done, it's got the video up there and it's got the audio down there. Now, say I didn't want the audio on down there, I can mute this particular um, channel here, which is going to mute the audio. But the thing you don't want to do is click that and press delete because it's going to delete them both, although you can separate them. But again, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so I've muted the channel because I don't want the audio on this. All right, so let me have a little play through them. Okay, so there's a video of them running and then they're running back and those kinds of things. This may get a bit jerky in that preview window. Don't worry about that. Um, when you render your video, that jerkiness will go. Okay, so we've got some running there and then it's going to flick over into the next clip, which goes of them running again. So I seem to have the same video twice. So maybe I, may, maybe I got rid of the wrong one. So I'll click off that. I'll just click on that. I'll just delete that and I'll just bring in this one 